let's say that you'd like to help us improve the Git support in Azure. So the first thing you would do is go to the Kudu project on GitHub and clone it. So in this case, I've already done that. I have it cloned locally. What I'm going to show you in this video is how you can make a change and actually try your bits directly in Azure instead of the one that are built in. So I have the Kudu bits here. And the first thing I'll do is switch to VS and make some random little change just so we can see that we have different bits. So there is some message that gets written when the deployment is received and I'll write from private Kudu just to mark that it's different. What I'm going to do next is from here run build.cmd which is going to build all the Kudu bits locally on my machine. And once that's done, if I open uh, the folder and I go onto, onto this artifact folder and debug, there is this kudu service folder which basically contains the whole kudu service. So now I'm going to show you how you can get that to run in Azure. So what we'll do now is go to the portal and create a new site. Some test site. So if I was to git push to this site now, let me enable git first, if I was to git push to it, it would just use the default implementation of git in Azure. But here we're trying to use our custom implementation. So there are two things we need to do. The first is to get our bits onto Azure. And the way we do this is via FTP. So if you go to the portal, it gives you uh, the FTP URL as well as the username and password. Uh, well, the password is the same as when you git push. So let me move to FileZilla here, and I can, um, the hostname is the same, I'll enter the username and do a new connection. And I'm now connected to my files via FTP. So the next step is I want to take Let's make some room, uh, go back up, take this whole Kudu service folder and copy it under my site as a sibling to the site folder. Okay. And now I want to go back to the portal and there's one more thing I need to do is go to configure and I'm going to add an app setting here that says use private kudu and set the value to one and you have to click save it's easy to forget this step so i saved it and now i'm done so i'll go back to the uh, uh, deployment tabs here and let's try actually pushing a new app a new site here so i'll grab the url and i'll go to a different folder that has a little test application. And I'll just push it. Now it's pushing. And if you look carefully at the output here, we see that it's actually saying new deployment received from private Kudu. This means that now we have basically changed the implementation of Git in Azure to our own. So this is a pretty nice way that if you're trying to fix a feature in Kudu or add new features and you want to try it directly in Azure, you can do that. So of course, when you do that, it only affects this one site. It doesn't affect anybody else. And if you ever wanted to go back to not using it, you would simply go under configure and you would remove this uh, setting and save.